Also new tonight, a Parkland doctor walking out of jail after he's accused of sending a new text to a minor. He's also now out of a job. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in Fort Lauderdale with what that doctor had to say for himself. Roy. Nicole and Louie, this Parkland doctor kept his head down. He stayed close behind another man who walked him away from the jail. And when it came to answering my questions, he refused. Stewart, do you have anything to say about the charges filed against you? No words from 64-year-old Stuart Bittman as he bonded out of the Broward County Jail Wednesday night. While the Parkland doctor tried to cover his face, I asked about the explicit text messages and photos investigators said he sent to a 13-year-old in April. Detectives say you sent nude photos of yourself to the victim allegedly. Is this true? No answer, but the evidence presented in court, enough for a judge to set his bond at $80,000. Court finds probable cause for transmitting information harmful to minors. Broward Sheriff deputies arresting Bittman outside of his home early Tuesday. In this warrant, we obtained BSO's Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force said he sent naked photos of himself sitting at a desk. The text messages, sexual in nature, allegedly asking the teen to perform sex acts and then volunteering to display disturbing actions of his own. Anything to say to the parents of the victim? We learned Bittman was a gastroenterologist at Digestive Care of North Broward, where he is still listed on the office's directory. We reached out to Gastro Health, who sent us this statement informing us he has since been terminated from the practice after they learned of the charges he is facing and worry for the well being of the children affected. Stewart, do you have anything to say in your defense? So now that Bittman has bonded out, the judge did set some conditions. He is to stay off of the Internet, stay away from minors, and he also has to surrender his passport. As for victims, well, investigators do believe that there may be other victims out there. So if you have any information that could help them, you are urged to give the Broward Sheriff's Office a call. For now here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.